Hi, Ruchika. I've shot a couple of videos about identity aware proxy before. It's a very useful product. Yeah, if you put IAP in front of your cloud run service, you don't have to worry about authentication in your application code. Your application will be more secure, less complex. I like that. But many people have asked me in the YouTube comments if there is a simpler way to set it up. There is now. Let me show you how. Welcome to the show, Ruchika. Uh, what do you do here at Google? Hi, Martin. I'm a product manager for enterprise security features of Cloud Run. I have previously worked as a senior product manager at other cloud technology companies. Ah, security is very important. Uh, what kind of features have you worked on? I recently worked on Cloud Run threat detection and on Cloud Run's integration with Identity Aware Proxy, or IAP for short. Excellent. And today you'll show us that second feature, how to integrate Cloud Run with IAP, right? That's right. Let's dive in. Here is a Cloud Run service in the Cloud Console. I have deployed the Hello World container to it. So if I click the public URL for it, I get this welcome page. And that's a simple container that Google built and anyone can use, right? That's right. I often use it for my testing of security setup. I didn't have to log in to see that Hello World page. That's because I made the Cloud Run service public, as we can see here. That means anyone on the internet can access this URL and see that welcome page. Got it. And that's useful for public web apps. But sometimes you want to lock your service down to a list of users, uh, for example, for company internal apps. That's where Identity Aware Proxy comes in. I will now lock the service down so that only users on my list can access it. First, I go to the security tabs and then I select my app requires authentication. I select the IAP option. This enables IAP directly on my Cloud Run service. I can now edit the IAP policy to add users who will be able to access my application. For example, I'm adding myself as a valid user. I can provide an access level or leave it blank. I click Save on the Edit Policy page and on the Authentication card. And that's it. I now have a successfully enabled IAP on my Cloud Run service and added the users who can access my application. Very good. Now, what happens if you try to access the Cloud Run service? Let's try it. I'll reload the page in the browser now it displays a login page instead of a welcome page. I will log in as the user I added a minute ago. And now I'm in. I can see the welcome page again. That looks so easy. Yes, we created this new setup process because developers have been asking us for a simplified way of doing it. Very good. But I do have some questions for you, Ruchika. Go ahead, Martin. How much does it cost to use IAP for my Cloud Run services like you showed us? IAP is free of charge. Amazing. I saw a drop down box there called Access Level. Uh, what's that about? You can use that to pick which policy should apply to the current user's access. For example, I can change the access for the account I added earlier so that account can only use the Cloud Run service if it's logged in from the US. Okay, restricting by country sounds useful. Uh, can you add other rules? Yes, the rules are flexible. For example, you can grant access to employees only if they're using a trusted corporate device from your corporate network or require that their device is up to date with patches or let administrators access URL paths that start with slash admin. You can even create custom access levels. Very good. I'll add a link to the documentation for that to the video description below. Now, can my web app find out who the current user is? If I wrote an expense report application, I want to display the expense reports filed by the current user. So my app would need to know who that is. Yes, this welcome page shows the user's email. Here it is. Right. I noticed that. How did it do that? 
IAP adds these two headers to every user request before it is delivered to your Cloud Run service. The Hello World container reads the headers using this code. It's pretty straightforward. You could do the same in your expense reporting application. Also, each request will contain a signed JSON web token for extra security. You can always validate that token. And what kind of users can I add in IIP? When we are filming this, you can only add users in the same domain as the project. And the project has to be part of an organization. I added my account in the junix.net domain, which is in the same domain as the project. But by the time you watch this video, that restriction may not apply anymore. Check the docs. You can also add groups of users. For example, you might want to add only the finance team for your financial application. What if my users aren't Google Cloud or Workspace users? You can set up IAP with Workforce Identity Federation that lets you redirect end users to an external identity provider like Okta to sign in. That takes a little more time to set up, but the docs describe how to do it. Very good. I will link to that documentation from the video description. Now, what is the status of this integration between IP and Cloud Run? When we are filming this, it's in public preview. But by the time you watch this video, it may be in general availability. Check the docs. Well, I learned a lot, Ruchika. This is so much easier than setting up a load balancer like I had to do before. Yeah, developers kept telling us they wanted a simpler solution. So we built it for them. So far, the developer feedback has been very positive. If you put access control in its own component like IAP, your application will be more secure and less complex. It will also give you a centralized place to manage your users. Is this zero trust security? That's right. Instead of trusting anyone on the current network of VPN, IAP validates every single request. Uh, thanks for sharing all this with us, Ruchika. Thank you for having me, Madan. And thank you, everyone, for watching. If you have any questions for Ruchika or me, ask in the comments below. Also, please let me know what you thought of this episode. I love hearing from you and I read every single comment. Now go secure your apps with IAP.